Asian markets were up overnight, however US and European share markets did move lower, snapping a pretty good run over the past few days. All up, this third quarter earnings season has been much better than most market analysts were expecting. Of the 435 companies that have released their results on the S&P 500, 83% of them have exceeded market expectations. As a result of this, markets have been going fairly well over the past few weeks. However, every so often there is a small blip, and this did happen overnight with several companies disappointing the market with their earnings results. As a result of this, the US dollar was back in favour and our own New Zealand dollar did edge off just slightly overnight. However, it is still trading at similar levels to Tuesday morning, right on 74 cents to the US. Of interest overnight was the news from Fitch, the ratings agency, that the UK's sovereign credit rating is the most at risk of the top rated nations around the world. Fitch has suggested that the UK needs the largest budget adjustment. This comes at a time when the UK has just announced a September budget deficit of £15 billion. This compares to September of last year of just over £8.5 billion, so this is a big increase. Financial markets are driven off sovereign credit ratings and are influenced by what the credit ratings are saying about countries. A downgrade to a country can mean that currencies will be much weaker. This would likely mean that if the pound does weaken against the New Zealand dollar that our agricultural exports to that part of the world would also weaken. As a result of this, the New Zealand dollar has strengthened against the pound overnight. US beef prices did edge up slightly over the past week. US domestic supplies are tight and we are yet to see the seasonal surge coming from this part of the world. As a result, US imported prices edged up a couple of cents across the past week. Demand indices out of the US are still very weak for beef at this present time. Over the past year, demand indices have been decreasing month on month. Of interest is in the chicken game, where wings, which are a lower cost bar snack, have been doing better than higher cost breast meat. This does give an indication of the slight change in market fundamentals out of the US at this present time. All up, it is likely that we will see some further weakness in beef schedule prices coming through this season.